Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers guys. My name is Didi Taihutu and yes I am the guy that went four years ago all into Bitcoin after selling his house, his company, everything else and traveled the world with his family. Now coming to you guys from Lagos and Portugal, today I was supposed to do a family trip with the family, so I didn't want to make a video, but I'm going to make an emergency up uh, emergency update video today because Bitcoin just dropped and I don't want you to freak out, but to zoom out. So let's jump into this probably very short video to share two charts with you guys so you understand what the fuck is happening to Bitcoin at the moment. BAM! The first chart, guys. I've been speaking about this chart a couple of times in the last week. Because this is a weekly chart. This teaches you how to zoom out if you talk about Bitcoin. So let's take a look at this chart one more time. And we'll try to slowly and very tranquilo explain to you why I think this chart is very important to keep an eye on. This chart. Bam! You see, almost everything in slow motion, even the BAM is in slow motion. This chart is very important, guys. It's a weekly chart. Every candle is a week. You can see Bitcoin price from all the way back from 2013 till today. On the chart, you will see a couple of green circles. These are the important things to look at on this chart. On the bottom of the chart, you see the NVT and the stock RSI. Also very important to take, to take a look at during these dips. Bitcoin just dipped from 41 or even 42K, if you see it like that, all the way back to 32K. This is a 9 to 10K drop. So it's a 22% dip. If we take a look at 2017, the bull run, you can see we dipped many times. I know the numbers out of the top of my head. The dips were every time between 30 and 40%. Why do I know these numbers? Because I was there. At that point of time, I invested everything in Bitcoin. I rode all these highs and dips. Every time again, it felt like an emotional roller coaster ride. I am trying to share my knowledge that I have about these emotional roller coaster rides you can have during these Bitcoin runs to educate you and prepare you for what is to come, for what could come. And that is very important because we all want run BTC, we all want Bitcoin to run. But Bitcoin will never run, bam, just like this. Bitcoin will always go up, pull back a little bit, go up, pull back a little bit, go up pull back a little bit like we saw in 2017 but why am i hammering on this chart because on this chart you see this thick yellow line that is a 21 moving average on the weekly chart a very important line during the 2017 bull run like you can see every time we made those runs we pulled back to this 21 moving average line every time again up to the line up to the line up to the line this is a very important line also if you look to 2013 this line is very important and if you look look now to 2020 we can see that we just took a distance from the line this line will be increasing every week again higher and higher but there will be a moment we will pull back to this 21 moving average at the moment the line is around 17k i think in two three weeks time the line will be around 20k so even if we go up to 40k again, we can still pull back in a couple of weeks to this 21MA, which would then be around 20k. So don't freak out, but zoom out. Till now, we can't compare this bull run with the 2017 bull run, because we saw smaller pullbacks than in 2017. 
That is, I think, because the dips are being bought by institutional investors. In 2017, the market was becoming like freaky, freaky, freaking out. If the Bitcoin started to fall, everybody started to sell. And that is how we created 40% dips. And now we only saw 18, 20, now a 12%, and again a 20% dip. So the dips are not as steep as 2017, but that doesn't mean we won't see a 40% dip somewhere in the future. The second thing on this chart that you need to take a look at is very important. This is the logarithmic growth curve. This is all those white lines you see on the screen. You have a top line, you have a bottom line, you have a midline, and you have some white lines in between. So the lines is not just random lines, it's lines that are calculated by the Fibonacci levels very important this midline that is the line that i have been hammering on a few times now because that line is very very important if you look back to 2013 you can see we were breaking this line we were trying to break this line for a couple of weeks we broke the line we pulled back all the way down to the yellow line to go sideways for some time then we went up again to break this midline again and then when we broke that midline we saw this huge massive bull run now take a look at 2017 the same thing happened we were fighting this midline for a couple of weeks i think it was four weeks in total we were fighting trying to break it and you see the wicks crossing the white line the midline but you can see the candle closing below this line. So we were fighting this midline. And then after four weeks, we couldn't break this midline. We saw a pullback almost to the 21 MA. You can see this red candle with a long wick almost touching the 21 MA. Again, after that, we went a little bit sideways for one or two weeks before we went up again in 2017 and tried to break that midline again. Then the moment we broke that midline, that was the moment when we went into this acceleration of the last part of the bull run, which brought us to 20k. This midline is very important, like you can see. And every time again, it took a couple of weeks fighting around that midline before we can break it. In 2017, this midline was around 5k, so we were fighting this 5k level. And then when we didn't, uh, when we didn't win, it fell back to 3k. That's a 40% pullback. In 2013, that's a long time ago, we wish all that we could have bought bitcoins at that time. We were fighting the $160 level. The midline was around 160 US dollar. And we were fighting that level. And when we didn't break that level, we fell down to $90. Also, 40 to 43 percent pullback because we didn't break that midline. Now, look to today. We just touched the midline for the first time. We even went over it. But if you look to the body of the candle, we are still closing below this midline. This midline now in 2020 is 2021 already is around 36,000 US dollar. This is the level, in my opinion, that we will be fighting in the next couple of weeks. Somewhere between 3, like in 2017, or even 9 weeks in 2013, we will be trying to break this line. And again, and again, and again. And then there will be a moment in the future, in the near future, in my opinion, that if we don't break this midline, that the bulls give up and that we will retrace to this yellow thick line and again this yellow thick line is increasing every week but we will be going back to this line in my opinion and that could be 20k if it takes two three weeks that could be 25k if it takes a little, a little longer we don't know yet but i want you to understand that this yellow line is a very important one the 21 moving average has been always important in these bull runs and i do and i do think it's also going to be important now so in my opinion, we will be fighting this 36k level line and then maybe you know, we we'll break 36 and we go to 37, 38. And if we might pull back the same way we did in the previous bull runs with more than 40%, we would see a Bitcoin price of 20k again. 
That is what we call a huge, huge dip. And that is what we call buy the dip. Because I do think if we stay above that 20k, the previous all-time high, which then would be around the 21 MA, that is a huge area of support. And I think when we have that area of support, and when we retest that area of support, and then go up again, then I do think that we can see the same thing in 2000, that we saw in 2017 and in 2013. Because we broke the midline at a certain moment, and then it accelerated to the top of this logarithmic growth curve. So if we do the same now, we will now be fighting this midline for a couple of weeks, try to break it, don't succeed, Full, pull back to the 21 MA, stay there for one or two weeks, then try to break this midline again. Probably that then will be somewhere in March or something. And then you will see a 12 week bull run all the way into July. And then you can see the top of this bull run between July and December. If we would like to believe the chart that I shared with you yesterday, the chart that was from 2014, those guys predicted the top of the bull run would be in July 2017. So that would completely, perfectly play out with this chart. Plan B's chart and Plan B's stock to flow model is saying 100k in December. This is also possible because if we copy the 2013 bull run, then this sideways period around the yellow line, so first fighting this white net line now, then pull back to the 21 MA, stay at this 21 MA for nine weeks or 10 weeks, and then start to build again to break this midline and accelerate into the top, that could take us to December. So in my opinion, you need to zoom out in these charts and understand that Bitcoin is not going to crash to zero, in my humble opinion, but that we are going to see a 100,000 US dollar price per Bitcoin between July and December this year. If you are an investor and not trading the day charts every day, please hold all your Bitcoins, hold all your Bitcoins, Bitcoin will run and you will be happy somewhere between July and December this year with the return of investment that you will have if you cash out. This is a very important chart. And that is why I talked about it now already three times this week. I think this chart needs to be like stamped into your brains. You need to understand that this is the bigger picture, that this can play out like this. It's not a guarantee. We don't always repeat history, but if I need to do the calculations based on history, based on Fibonacci levels, based on the movements of Bitcoin, based on all the, fr all the fractals we've seen in Bitcoin, then this could play out like this. So don't freak out, but zoom out. Don't lose your Bitcoins because you start to freak out now. Or huddle it, or play the game very tactful sell them now, buy them back cheaper, and then never buy, sell them again because you will be missing out on the bull run then. For the most people out there, it's more easy to just hold all your Bitcoin stack, just hold all your Bitcoins, and dollar cost average into the extra Bitcoins that you want to buy. So every time Bitcoin dips, just add more Bitcoins, add more Bitcoins, buy more, buy more. Hold all your Bitcoin stack, don't touch it, leave it where it is, and just buy more. And that is how you will be, in the end, making the most profits, in my opinion. That was everything for this emergency video. Yes, I still have a one chart to share with you. This is the Bam Bam indicator, because yesterday, for the first time in a long time, I had some loss. I will share the Bam Bam chart now, this one. Bam! Like you can see, I only did four trades yesterday, and one of them I made loss, guys. Yes, I make loss as well. And the Bam Bam indicator is not guaranteeing you profit. Yes, if you don't listen to the Bam Bam, but you listen to your emotions, you will lose sometimes as well. And sometimes these emotions take control of you like they did to me yesterday. Traded with $200 with a leverage of 10. It was Sunday, I didn't, didn't want to take too much risk. First trade was a good trade. It was a short 37% profit, which took $200 into $275 US dollar. Then guys, then came my big mistake of the day. I took a long, I saw a long flag. 
and I thought, okay, we're going to go up more. And my emotion said, told me, Didi, we're going to go up. And, you know, if I looked downwards to the signals, the Bam Bam indicator didn't tell me to buy or long. Um, the margin call, we were still like a lot of area of sand and sea, didn't tell me who to call. So there were so many signals telling me not to call. And I did because my emotion said, man, just do it, man. We just made profit. Go for it. And I did. And what turned out in the end, I should have listened to the DD Bam Bam indicator and all the signals because I made a loss. Instead of up, Bitcoin moved down with more than 8%. So the 275 US dollar turned back into 250 US dollar. If you look at the chart, you can see there was too much sea and sand. There was not a reason to even take the long because the flag is just an indication. Diddy, we might need to go long. Then you need to see this triple confirmation of the BAM indicator, of the margin call, of the volume, of all the stuff that I educated you guys on in the videos. And I didn't do it myself, so that's why I made an 8% loss. It's not a big loss, but still it's a loss. I was luckily able to short the market a few hours later. You can see it on the chart, triple confirmation. It was a short with a 100% profit. So the 250 turned into 500 US dollar. And yes, for this trade, I used a trading stop loss. I think it was a $200 trading stop loss that I set at a certain moment. So yes, that is why I made the profit. And I could have made, made bigger, I could have made a bigger profit, but I was very happy with this 100% profit after the loss I made. And we ended the trade with a long, I think it was around 40% profit, which brought us to a total amount of 700 US dollar. We started with $200, we ended with $700, even though we had a loss in every we are making profit with the Bam Bam indicator. If you just learn to observe the signals, listen to the signals, and just do not listen to your emotions because they will screw up your plans, they will screw up your profits. That was everything I wanted to share with you guys because now I want to walk back home and we are going to drive to an amazing place to film some really cool footage. Today, the BFED will be going live. The last test and all the verifications of everything needs to be good before we go live are being done at the moment. We know that a lot of you have been waiting a long time for that. We have a lot of signups and I promise you guys we will go live today. I want to thank you for your understanding and that we are going live a little bit later today and not in the morning but we will go live and you will really love the be fat automated trader guys because the last couple of days in testing we have made really really nice profits 24 7 and that is what the b fed is about it's going to create profits while you sleep guys yes i know it sounds too good to be true but give it a chance and you will see and you don't even need to pay for the BFED. We will be giving the BFED completely for free to you guys. You only need to invest in a Raspberry Pi. And you only need to hook it up to the internet. Then install the device using our manual. And you will be trading 24-7. And with the trades, we will make profits because of the referral fees on Bybit. And those fees, again, will be used for a fund to help poor people all over the world. So it's a win-win-win situation. Give it a try. You can always shut it down. The Bitcoins are always in your wallet. We can't take them from you. We are no scammers. We are just people, a huge Bitcoin family that wants to try to change the world a little bit by bit to refer to Satoshis and sets and bits. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching again, and always remember that cars can pass by very fast and that you need to zoom out in Bitcoin into the charts and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.